Dempsey mm -hmm. and the United States Marine Corps Eagle Globe and Anchor Insignia stamped on the outside of it. The Idaho State Lab later located a single source of male DNA suspect profile left on the button snap of the knife. So Brian was a little sloppier than what we expected. I mean, come on, Brian. All of this education, all of those countless hours studying and in college, trying to figure out how to, how to get away with this, and you leave the sheep behind? Now, I saw someone on Twitter say that, oh, Brian must have returned to the scene of the crime so he could put the sheep there because he wanted to get caught. And I looked at that tweet like, damn, this is the dumbest I have ever read in my entire life. People come up with some weird stuff. Brian made a mistake. That's what happened. Brian made a mistake. One that he probably beat himself up over afterwards. Maybe when Brian was returning to the scene, maybe he was going to go try to get the sheets back, but by then it was too late. By then it was too late. But it is also revealed that on December 27th, Pennsylvania agents recovered the trash from the Koberger family residence located in Pennsylvania. The evidence was sent to the Idaho State for testing. On December 28th, the Idaho State lab reported that a DNA profile obtained from the trash and the DNA profile obtained from the sheep identified as a male, not being excluded as the biological father of suspect profile, at least 99.9998% of the male population would be expected to be excluded from the possibility of being the suspect's biological father. Based on the information, I am requesting an arrest warrant issued for Brian Coburn. So basically, what they did is, I, I figured they probably would have gotten this information from maybe the dumpster at the apartment complex where Brian lives, but then again, when you think of it, that's like a shared